a very tough ask for them. As you can see there, though, Dragons currently on the longest active streak in the entire league. And uh, they're going to be looking to push that to a 12 now. Let's see if London can shut them down. Like I said, London is the team that very much cares about control uh, and trying to get that victory here. What is going to be on the Echo? And what's just playing forward? He's going to get punished. Early. Very, uh, yeah. Huge lack of restraint from him to not translocate out. I guess I maybe thought was going to be... GMAC has gotten better every week that we've seen him play. Like, GMAC has gotten better from week one to week, like, 16. GMAC's definitely been a better main time. Well, thank God he's not regressing and getting worse as the weeks go on. Uh, Babel's going to be hacked out by a lift. What is there with the punishment? He's going to go primary fire, and now... Night Dragon will push into the point that has not been locked down yet with the beam. They will help knock Clefton out of the mech. Rez is there, however, from Fuse to put Babel straight back in the mix of things so he can stay uh, competitive on that EMP build as Clefton just desperately tries to get his suit back here. But Flutter will find yet another pick. And what is the fire? Well, they do have control of the point for the moment. Might be losing out on it fairly soon here. And then they continue to play forward. J-Mac falling low doesn't quite have that primal online. If they had that, I think London would still be all in on the point right now trying to contest it. Yeah, especially if they got Shui's uh, ultimate up as well. They, they were so close to coming back into that. However, Shanghai is able to flip it around. Now London has to figure out what the initiation is, and that's a big one. Yeah, EMP basically solo use onto J-Mac. This man just survived through that hack. Uh, solo use of the EMP from Babel, also on the Fearless, but this time it's London Spitfire who are able to capitalize and find the kill onto that main tank player. A lot of pushes back over towards the point, but doesn't use the duplicate before he gets eliminated. So a big misstep right. from him here in this moment as Shui starts destroying him. We'll get Rez back into the fight. Basically comes in and helps take down three more members of the Shanghai Dragon. So Flip now getting ready to come through as Lee Jae-Gon will just in forward to get the reset. And Spitfire back on the board. And Shanghai Dragons, you know, not even 50% for them. So this is still very winnable for the one Spitfire. I, I think actually when the next fight happens, it will be just about even. And we've got 50-50. Now, is, the question is, like, Shui versus Flutter, actually. It, it, and it's new to me, to be honest. Which Echo has the better Echo? That's the question. Most would tell you Flutter, but Shui's honestly been looking pretty decent so far uh, here on the map, at least. Must have been trying to get back in the mech, but does get denied right at the very last second by Fearless. He goes for the wins and almost has the Primal Rage up, but now he's going to be hacked. Book of Fire coming in. He'll knock him out of the duplicate, but as he exits, Apple is there to scoop a kill onto Flutter, and they get the punish onto Lee Jae Gone after the Reds come through. Shanghai Dragons have retaken the point, so are in control. And with Fearless yeah, with the Primal holding. Rage, the EMP there, they will be able to hold this and let this Spitfire just kind of have to reset and come back in. They're in a great hold spot, too. Like, they have the Sombra, they have the Winston, they have the Echo. Like, there's nothing that you can really go into Shanghai and try to win that. Maybe it's Bevel. Maybe Bevel wins this. Okay, well, again, going for the solo EMP on the J-Mac. They get the follow-up hack as well as Fearless Pops the Primal Rage, but he himself going to be hacked by Battle's EMP, who's been keeping decent pace alongside Lip. Hack now on Gregory. Have that defense matrix. A bio nade goes in, and she will get knocked out of the mech. Focus fire here for the one into the fire to make your way over onto the point now. High Dragons trying to close this one out. Now at 94% on the board. Flood goes for the duplicate one to quest it. Having a little bit of extra damage mitigation with this diva, but it will be a hack. He's getting focused. Someone struck a line. He would love to pop it. Barely gets it right at the last second. Bomb, however, not going to be able to find anything. But the OT does start bleeding away. Clutch chases forward desperately. Hangs it onto the point. Bossom is mech. Now Krillin's going to be gone. The res is up. Lee Jae-Gun brings Fearless straight back into the fray. They start looking very good for the Shanghai Dragons to go ahead and finish the map right here, right now. We, however, goes to the Winston with the duplicate. They need to focus it down, but the Primal Rage comes in right at the last second. Fearless gets pushed off the side of the map. It's battle. You just get another EMP. He cannot leap back up onto the ledge. Fantastic. Little turn of events there, but they can't stay on the point all the same. It was looking good for London. Looked like maybe they're going to be able to turn it around, yeah. but the Shanghai yeah. Dragons do manage to get the first round. It was all right, but it was just sadness and desperation. 
Like, uh, that, no, that was never really felt like it was going to go the other way. Obviously, they, they, they had that in control. We shall see. Huh? What do you think they run with the Sombra here? Because, like, obviously, one team is going to run. I think it's just going to be Echo again. Yeah, Echo? Maybe Mc oh, yeah. McCree, you think? Maybe? Um, I, well, the Shui not isn't really going to be your prime choice for uh, for hits again. Yeah, so I feel like it's just going to be the Echo Swap. Yeah, so okay. we will just have the uh, the mirrored comps yet again. No, no far up. We were seeing uh, that's, that's good up here from you know London today, or at least in their series, we were seeing the far come through from uh, the Soul Dynasty. We'll just be going for the mirrored matchup. The pack here going to be hacked by the Shanghai Dragon. So consistently just peel back into this I little do, side room and get those health packs coming in to make the team topped up. I do generally think that Shanghai's Sombra and Shanghai's Echo are better than London's. Yeah, and I mean, I don't think, uh, I don't think there would be too many people who disagree with you on that. Tried and true, whereas London are trying to uh, just, you know, level up their performance. Flip already has an EMP online, he's going to use it, managed to catch one of the tanks. They had a boost on the J-Mac, but trying to stay alive. There are a lot of resources into him to keep him dumped up, and actually, it will work out. So EMP does not lead to any kills. Now Babel has the opportunity to try and turn things around with one of his own. Coming up online now. But as he gets it, does fall, but it'll be a trade-off. He just finds that kill, but he punishes. Rez comes in, Babel back into the fight. Fire definitely try to get this flip. But will die as this Lee Jake gone. And with three members now eliminated, it seems like, uh, yeah, London will be able to get on the board. So similar percentage from what we just saw on Lighthouse as the flip does come. <clears throat> 43 for yeah. Shanghai. London was able to smoke a lot of the Shanghai Dragons. However, they were just still sitting on the point. The, their very early kill was on Li Gong. Like, they got the mercy early on, but it still got them 30% to just be able to push through. So, yes, London was able to win that fight, but it didn't really matter. 43%. Shanghai can push in here. I don't know. What do you, what do you start here with? Like, maybe duplicates? Perhaps? If they could try to do that to go ahead and along it, but I feel like maybe they just play this out a little bit patiently and wait for Lip to get the EMP. Babel uses his own. Finally, Jake on and Gangari, but the capitalization isn't really there from the rest of the Spitfire to find the kill. Self destruct lands on top of the building, doesn't manage to find anybody. Fearless gets a kill on the Babel with the primal range as J Mac ionated, slapped, finished off. Uh, so this is pretty good, pretty decent at least for Shanghai Dragon moving back over towards this point, trying to get this flip. Let's pick fire for the moment, at least we'll have a very slight lead. It's Shui, right up in their face, and still holds on to the duplicate, trying to get out of a sticky situation. Up the struck out from Fleta, it's for a pick, doesn't find it, but does manage to get the read back there before he moves straight back over into his Echo form. Looking for, looking for Lee Jigong, Shui will manage to find that. Point is still there for London Spitfire, so managing to persevere. Shanghai Dragons in this crazy, chaotic fight that doesn't net them the point do manage to build up another EMP effectively here for Lip, so maybe that'll be the turning point. But uh, the EMP so far have been pretty lackluster from Shanghai. Lip has been basically trying to focus fire J Mac and Cleston, and the follow up hasn't been there to actually eliminate the tanks. The value has absolutely not been there as far as EMP goes. There's a giant EMP game. Okay. Three? They managed to get both the tanks again, and this time they actually killed J-Mac, so mission accomplished to get rid of the Winston. But uh, that being said, it's into overtime now, so let us the fire can turn around. We'll be able to take us one-to-one. And of course, Rude is the that. finish, but yeah, Flip will just be there. Yeah. So Shanghai, uh, get the point. London just playing this one passively, resetting, and I, I think that's definitely the better move. The, the follow-up has been ultra on aggressive. They never, never go in. Yeah. Maybe this is it. Maybe, like, Maybe Krillin has something. Oh, well, the tanks uh, from the Shanghai Dragons get feisty. They manage to find two. And Lee Jae Gon is just so elusive. Just dips and dives around, eludes Shui, and uh, make sure that he does not get picked off there. So, a good start here for Shanghai as they try to push this to 100%. 25 left to go in that regard, but Babel got this EMP. 
They can land, actually nail an EMP bomb combo. This could be really huge for London, but yeah, I, just, I think it's uh, the map doesn't really they allow for that sort of play to happen. They kind of have everything. What? Okay. Shui goes for the duplicate on the Mercy. We'll have a, uh, he's got a Valkyrie. A lot of extra healing being pushed out, but Twin Spikes first with an EMP. And it's the buying three and Gromes the first to fall. Shui goes in, looks for the res, gets pushed away before he can use it. Now is back here on the Echo. As he's picked off EMP. Still waiting in his back pocket, but might not be given the opportunity to use it here. 99 to 99%, Shanghai Dragons looking to close things out. As Fleta has the same exact thought. Once that extra res, if it's necessary, which it is not, <laughs> the Shanghai Dragons in uh, two fairly close rounds of Ilios will be able to take this map. Actually, pretty close. I think uh, either team could have pulled that one off at the end. Like uh, there was yeah. back and forth, and it was it was kind of weird. It was it was sloppy. It actually wasn't fun to watch. You know, actually, it was a little bit sloppy. <laughs> a little bit sloppy 